Uh, still with sport, this has been one of the most successful years ever in British cycling. A world championship, success too in the Tour de France. So what is it about the British and bikes and why now? Some of it is down to one man, Mark Cavendish, currently one of the greatest cyclists in the world. Today he allowed fans some special access. Being one, I went along to talk to him. At 26 years old, he's one of the greatest cyclists in the world. The cycling road race world champion, Mark Cavendish, is a crowd puller. His status still further enhanced by having won the green jersey at this year's Tour de France, a feat no Brit has ever achieved before. So that when his sponsors offered fans the chance today to meet him and secure an autograph or two, the website had to be closed within minutes. Such was the demand. And welcome to you, Mark Cavendish. Thanks very much for coming along today. He, along with the rest of the British Olympic cycling team, are hugely fancied for a vast harvest of golds. And yet, this unassuming cyclist from the Isle of Man is modest about his accomplishments and Mark, points out really nice that his world you. championship very, very was nice indeed a team fantastic. effort from all the British riders. Really and it's about everybody doing their job and you know, they guys who did 110% of their job and uh, that's why we actually dominated it. We didn't just win, we dominated it, you know. Yeah. What about the sort of mental bit? I mean, you've got to have eight, eight minds in good shape. Haven't you? It's just about motivation and then just a group of committed professionals, you know. We had Dave Miller as road captain, he mm. called the shots on the road and then just, yeah, guys wanting to do it. There's no better drive than the one to do it, you know. Mark, do you feel, do you feel any connection with jobbing cyclists like me though? Aren't you just a breed apart doing no. something beyond us? That is, that's why I do it, because I love it. I love the social aspect of cycling. I love just going out with a lot of people. And, you uh, still do that, or you're always oh, it's, on it's, it's how I train. Like, uh, a lot of the guys use real scientific ways to train, you know. The, but I mean, do you bike off to the shops? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I do just go out with, uh, when I'm back on the Isle of Man, yeah. I just like going out on the club run with all the with all the guys who've been working all week, going, stopping at the coffee shop, having yeah. a coffee, a cup of tea, scone, whatever. You know, obviously the, the Olympic hopes are really focused hugely on you and the, and the team. Um, do you think you can infect other sports? I hope so. Obviously, we're the first medal on offer. Yeah. Where, uh, where it's the first event that finishes at the game, so... For sure, I think if we got Great Britain off to a good start, if we got a gold medal there, it, it automatically motivates everyone. Every athlete will tell you, success breeds success, and if some people get success, it just snowballs, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. And, uh, so it's a job for us to do, but uh, it's a proud one anyway. Why do you think that the, the, the country that brought us bicycle building in the first place, you know, Nottingham and places like that, and then it faded, why has it come back? And why, why, why is it working now? There's a few things. Obviously, the success we've had, is that's, that's a factor. But there's just a lot of initiatives, obviously. Fuel prices going up, the economy. Um, and then schemes like Boris Bikes, you know, like this, the sky rides and whatever, you know. It's getting, uh, getting people out riding their bikes, and that's it. And that's all it takes. You know, it's actually a nice sport, and people don't realise how nice it is until, until they do it, until yeah. they get out. They enjoy the freedom, you know. Mark Cavendish, world cycling champion, gently pedalling at the Redbridge uh, cycle track.